Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Um, before I talk about the product, I'll just briefly introduce myself and tell you a little bit about what I do. Um, as Richard just said, I was the, or am the Body and Exteriors Engineering Launch Leader on the LR2. And for the last two years I've been based at the Halewood facility, which again, as Richard just said, is where the LR2 is manufactured in Merseyside in the northwest of England. Um, during that time, I've been responsible for the robust and timely resolution of all the engineering issues on the car. And I've worked very closely with my production and plant colleagues to actually productionize the vehicle. And I have to say that during that time I've seen firsthand the absolute rigor and attention to detail that those guys have put into achieving a premium quality vehicle here. Prior to that, I was working on the concept and engineering of the vehicle, primarily with responsibility for perceived quality, both for interior and exterior. So that involved delivering the fit and finish of the vehicle, but working very closely with the design and engineering teams. Okay, so I'm now going to go on to talk about the product a little bit. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the work that the engineering team has done to deliver the attributes that Richard just spoke about. Over the last 30 months, we've designed and built around about 150 prototype LR2s. We've taken these prototypes to four continents, driving them over hundreds of thousands of miles. We've shaken them, soaked them, baked them, crashed them, and run them at temperatures from minus 40 degrees to plus 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and at up to 95% humidity. As you'd expect from a Land Rover, we've pushed this vehicle to its limits in all weathers and in all terrains. All of this to deliver a breadth of capability that is unlike any other vehicle in its sector. LR2 achieves this breadth of capability thanks to a number of firsts, not just for Land Rover but for the sector as a whole. For example, it's equipped with Land Rover's unique terrain response system. As you'll see tomorrow, the system has four settings. It's got general driving, grass, gravel, snow, mud and ruts, and sand driving. Each setting optimizes the vehicle's engine, transmission, and braking systems for the chosen terrain. And tomorrow you'll get the opportunity to explore the benefits of terrain response. Terrain response is matched to a unique permanent intelligent all-wheel drive system which incorporates an electronically controlled center coupling. This enables the vehicle to achieve a perfect balance of torque and traction in an instant. As well as the standard fitment hill descent control, LR2 is the first Land Rover to be equipped with our new gradient releasing control system. With hill descent control engaged, gradient releasing control ensures the gentle release of brake pressure as the driver takes the foot off the pedal. This works both up and downhill and gives the driver a greater feeling of confidence. This vehicle also delivers on-road. On-road we believe we struck the right balance between handling and comfort. This is founded on the vehicle's excellent structural stiffness. In fact, we know of only two other SUVs with greater torsional rigidity than the all-new LR2. One's the Porsche Cayenne, and the other is the Range Rover. In fact, at 28,000 newton meters per degree, LR2 is more than twice as stiff than some of our competitors. This vehicle has been engineered to be both stiff and durable, refined and comfortable, a combination of attributes that we are extremely proud of. The engine is the first transversely mounted straight six in a premium compact SUV. The compactness of the engine installation has allowed us to achieve excellent crash performance without compromising on cabin space. The engine, which was developed by Land Rover engineers in conjunction with Volvo, is all new and very advanced. This ensured the specific requirements of LR2, such as the extremes of tilt and deep weighting, were incorporated into the basic design. In terms of performance, the engine achieves 230 brake horsepower at 6,300 rpm, 234 pound street torque at 3,200 rpm, and 0 to 60 in 8.4 seconds, or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 8.9. The engine features advanced technologies such as the patented cam profile switching system, a first for Land Rover. This is two completely different intake cam profiles machined into the same camshaft. The engine management system then decides which cam profile to use, one for excellent fuel economy at low speed and low load driving, the other for performance at higher speeds and loads. The end result is improved power and torque right across the rev range. The engine also features variable inlet valve timing combined with a variable geometry air induction manifold which combine to give improved throttle and fuel efficiency. Turning now to transmissions. The low first gear ratio ensures low crawl speeds and high torque for best off-road drivability and performance. The high sixth gear offers maximum refinement for high speed cruising. 
Of course, the transmission also features command shift, giving many of the benefits of a manual in an auto. In terms of safety, the LR2 is packed with active and safety, active and passive safety features covering all aspects of the vehicle. All the systems that you see here are standard on the LR2. So we've got seven airbags ensuring safety for both front and rear occupants and a driver's knee bolster. The seatbelt systems include digressive load limiting and dual pretensioners. LR2 is the first Land Rover and the first compact SUV to feature roll stability control, which again is standard fit. Roll stability control uses the latest technology um, and in fact uses a gyroscopic sensor which is centrally mounted uh, to monitor the rate of change of body roll angle. If required, in addition to cutting engine power, it initiates marginal understeer by increasing brake force to the outer wheels. This is the effect of increasing turn radius and therefore reducing the roll. LR2 has been designed for ergonomic and packaging excellence. Entry and egress have been made easier by large door, op door opening apertures and door opening angles. The high seating position, low waistline, large glass area and excellent all-round visibility deliver the authentic Land Rover command driving position that is so valued by our customers. Inside the cabin, LR2 is packed with sophisticated technology and premium features including the start button, the latest optional touchscreen sat-nav system, rear parking distance control which is fitted as standard, an available adaptive bi on front lighting system, auto headlights, rain sensing wipers, one touch windows all around and approach lighting which is operated from the key fold. A premium Alpine audio system and an available Highline Dolby ProLogic surround sound system deliver an immersive sound experience through 9 and 14 speakers respectively. There's a standard fit auxiliary audio input socket for iPods and MP3 players. Of course you'll have plenty more opportunity to explore all of these features tomorrow when you drive the LR2. So we believe the LR2 is a vehicle that delivers true Land Rover capability off-road with a sophisticated and rewarding drive on-road. And now to close the session, I'm going to hand you back over to Richard. Thanks, Roy. Thank you.